I recently got earnings in the Solo Cash Cup and today I'm gonna be breaking down exactly how. From mid-game fights to rotations, I'll let you inside the mind on everything I do. I landed at this cabin that's nearby the slurp truck. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best drop spot simply because if somebody else lands at your location, your loot is gonna be scuffed. But I looted the cabin, went over, got shield from these plants. It's always good to know what gives shield around you, such as plants, slurp trucks, barrels, memorize it. But after I got my shield up, I noticed somebody had cut off my loot path, I had to fight him. I went for a sneak fry, didn't get any damage dealt, so I'm just pushing up safely, blocking his shots with ramps. Eventually, I get up close, and as I go for the wall take, I shoot the wall before I pickaxe it. That way, it's one shot to my pickaxe, and I was able to quickly take the wall with that strategy, and... The dude just tried to run at me and I got a free kill. But I noticed my entire spot was already looted, so I decided to go to a nearby location and see if I can either take a fight or steal some loot. This guy was getting the flag here and I went to push him, but it turned out that there was a third party in the distance. If I know it's not a simple 1v1 in the finals, I'm usually just gonna disengage while I have the opportunity, before it gets too shambles. So I hit the rift at the statue here, and while I'm flying, I'm trying to figure out where I wanna go. I noticed the zone is closing straight in on the center, which means it's probably going to continue to do that. So I know that my later rotates are not going to be super far from here. So I just land somewhere where I can farm a little metal and then just wait until it's time to get the cash. I end up just farming this building for a little bit, being very cautious because there might be people hiding in here or pushing up to farm metal. A place like this, people are usually going to be rotating here because one, there's a pad and two, there's metal. So you got to stay aware. I end up finding somebody just ratting in the building and I get a huge fry on him. So I go to push that, but I need to end this fight immediately. I do not want it to get drawn out. So I'm just looking for any phase trick I can do to get in his box but I end up hearing footsteps nearby, and that's my cue to end the fight before I take damage and get third party. Additionally, the cache is about to spawn, so I just pause what I'm doing, analyze the situation, I see the third party hit the pad, and I decide to go hit the pad as well because the guy I was pushing is now healed up. It's a perfect time to hit the pad because I can fly straight on the cache, and boom, this is win potential. You need to get slurp juices in the finals. Now that I have max mats, good weapons, slurp juice, there's only one thing I could use more of and that's floppers. So I find a place with fishing rods and water and I just sit there, fish the rest of my flops. Once you get this loot right here, you're basically just playing the waiting game. There's no reason to do anything risky because you're already set up to win and doing anything risky is just setting you up to lose. But that's when the island spawns directly above me. And I decide to go for it because if nobody else goes for it, boom, I have four slurps. So I end up going up there, I'm the first one there. If I would have heard another zipline on my way up, I cancel my push. I'd be out of there because I already have that wind potential. At the start, it's free, but somebody does end up pushing up here. And because I already have slurps, there's really no reason I need to fight this. So I just disengage before things get ugly, before I burn any mats, any heals, and I go play my end game. I base up right next to a rift, so that way if it pulls far, I can just rift to the zone, obviously. It ends up pulling far, so I hit the rift, but the guy on the island is shooting me. So I dive down onto mud. If you don't know, mud is crazy OP because if you spam slide while sprinting, you go super fast. So I use the mud to get in the zone, but I'm not stopping on the edge. Even though I have this edge all to myself, I keep on pushing further in. The reason is I'm pushing into the side of the zone that was initially in the storm. Look around me here. There's not a single other player, only because this was in the zone before. Nobody rotates out here. The next zone ends up pulling further, but I just continue along this dead side rotate and this max pull zone ends up becoming super easy. I do get shot at once on this rotate, but it's not a big deal. I just heal up and continue on once that guy rotates. Now the dead side mentality does not stop there. Once I get in the zone here, I notice that that right side of the zone was once in the storm. So there's gonna be no players over there. The next zone pulls max. And so I know the right side is gonna be the freest rotate. The only problem is there's one player ahead of me on that right side and he's looking to hold me for no reason. He could just easily rotate ahead, but instead he wants to pick a fight. So I have to wait until last second until that guy goes and that's when I can follow behind him slightly, but I cut in a little bit, that way he doesn't turn around and hold me. I'm staying aware, looking at where people are boxed around me as I rotate here, but it was a pretty free rotate. At the end, I just get up one layer so I have good visibility for my next rotate, and now we're in the moving zones. 
and I get another max pull, but guess what? I'm prepared once again, because I know where the dead side is, just like before, it's the side where the zone was opening up towards. So I just rotate to that side, and look, once again, we have a free rotate. It's not as free in the moving zone simply because there's more players in a more confined space, but it was free enough to the point where I could literally pause on my rotate and farm this enormous brick. That's the power of the dead side. As I'm rotating here, I probably should have stayed all the way towards that dead side, but I cut back to the center a little bit because I saw a kill opportunity. These two players were fighting and I was able to easily third party that. Once I get the kill though, I don't camp on that loot because I knew he was getting psychoed and that other player might not stop, even though I'm perfectly healthy. So I get ahead a little bit with those extra mats and then go back for the loot. I don't stay long though because I don't want to get behind on my rotate. That's the biggest thing about the no movement meta. You want to try to be on the front edge. Watch this rotate out of this box. I go back to that side that was dead before. I work my way to that right edge of the zone, and I also go up layers while doing so. The reason I go up layers, it's kind of like habit at this point. There were other players on low ground there, so I just build up over top of them, and then I don't really have to worry about them anymore. I went past this guy in the metal here, not knowing for sure if he was in there, but while I was going by, I heard the footsteps, so I start to block that angle as I continue my rotate, because it's very likely he'll try to spray me from behind. Once I get in, I base up and immediately look back because I'm still max HP, and I grief that guy that was in the metal. I don't get tunnel vision on him, I'm still staying aware of my other angles, and I hear myself getting sprayed behind, so I block that. Always be aware, don't get stuck staring at somebody else, always be cautious of your angles. The next zone pulls far again, and this time it's not really in my favor. Remember before how we'd always try to get to the dead side of zone, the side of zone that was initially in the storm? Well, this time, we can't do that, because we would have had to cut across the entire circle to do so. Instead, I stay on the side of the zone that I'm already on, but I go over top everybody on this side of the zone. By going over top of them, I don't really need to worry so much about getting edit pumped by any of them, because I'm just smooth sailing over top of them. The only person I need to worry about is that guy that built over top of me a second ago. So while I'm going over top of these guys, I'm occasionally blocking my back so that that angle is safe, and I just get in front of everyone and then drop to low ground cutting them off. Only reason I go to low ground is because nobody else was there. It was perfectly free. And now I just stagger a little bit. I wait for the zone to open up rather than full tarping simply because I'm going to look for another sprint rotate. Ways to conserve mats. I don't wait too long though because I don't want to get cut off by every player in the lobby and have them looking back at me. I wait just long enough to the point where I can sprint freely still and conserve a good amount of mats. I try to slide a little bit further while blocking angles of danger, but I end up slipping across my builds going into the storm a bit. A little bit of a choke, but we're still super healthy. I just look around me for any tags I can get before I start my next rotate. Notice how I don't just sprint out of my box here and try to slide into the zone. I block behind me and to my left because that's the only angle I think there are players. I make sure I get to a safe point to sprint and slide instead of just jumping out in the open, which is what most new players would do. Once I get in the zone, I base up just a little bit elevated so that the start of the next rotate won't be too difficult. As soon as the next zone opens, it's another max pull, but this time it's a max pull for everybody. I know that the far side of the zone is dead right now, not a single player is over there, because that was the furthest part of the zone, the part of the zone that was in the storm. So I do an instant rotate, but I'm ready to build behind me if anybody's following. There's only one guy, so I shoot him and build him off real quick, and then try to get through these old builds. Right here, I have a choice. There's another player on low ground with me and there's a guy a layer up. I can either stay low ground and just full build it, maybe try to fight that guy, but instead I build up a layer, cut off the guy that was a layer above me, and now I control this layer by cutting him off. The plan for the rest of the rotate here is stick to this left side of zone and try to conserve as many mats as possible on these rotates. I like to do these little floor tarps where I'd build only above me and below me and occasionally behind me. This only works when I'm going short distances on a bit of an elevation layer. If you do this on low ground, someone else on low ground is going to pump you in a second, but I'm able to get away with cheap tarping a bit on a mid layer. At this point, I still have pretty dang good mats for going into the final moving, but I am going to need refreshes if I want to win. To start the final moving zone, I just immediately rotate to the front edge of zone. I have enough mats to do that a couple times. I get tagged a little bit, so I pop a slurp and I notice players fighting underneath me. This is a perfect opportunity to third party and maybe get a free double refresh. Sure enough, I surprise 
surprised him from above was able to get that kill so free simply because I was in a good position to fight on the front edge of zone, which gave me enough time to go for a play like that. Additionally, I had conserved a lot of metal, so I was able to make room to get that refresh. If I was in wood, somebody else might have just sprayed in and third partied me. At this point, while I'm doing the rotate here, I notice I'm the only person on an elevated lair, it seems, which means only one thing, high ground's about to start spraying me. I decide to drop closer to low ground rather than going up. After height finishes spraying me here, I immediately look to counter spray up and maybe get a chop play and grief him, but I didn't have my SMG reloaded. Now this is where things start to get chaotic. As I do this rotate here, I stay on low ground, but as soon as I base up on the front edge, I get chopped downwards all the way to low ground. I analyzed everything around me as quick as possible and made this little stair tarp. It blocked the angle from the player next to me. If he tried to fight me, I could edit on him. And it also blocked the angle from above me. I don't really have mats to spare, so I sit here and wait in hopes that something's gonna come. Sure enough, it does. I knew I still had a few mats, so I build off the angle of high ground while I go for these mats. High ground didn't shoot at me at all, so I have a free sprint rotate to the front edge of zone. I get there, make space, and immediately look for my next frag. Realistically, at this point, in the game, I could have just chosen to play my heals and play the storm. I probably would have won, but instead I attacked the guy from below me. And the rest of this is pretty straightforward. Let's go, baby! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe learned something new. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, sub if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.